Well, g'day everyone, how's everyone going? Today's adventure, we're walking through ancient rainforests and shooting some waterfalls. Good day for it. Let's go. So yeah, ancient rainforests and cascades. Um, I've actually shot this cascade before. I'll chuck a link up. It was with my old D800, a DSLR. So I thought I'd come back again and try and shoot it with my, uh, my mirrorless uh, and try and get maybe some different compositions. I'm not sure. The first one I didn't shoot last time, it's, it's uh, right up against the uh, cascade here in my foreground and it's leading up. Uh, with these two uh, uh, plants, I'm not sure what kind of plants they are, just that one there. You can see and there's another one to the other frame of the photo. So I'm hoping that the cascade coming down um, leads you up through, through the back here. I'm having to focus stack again because I'm quite close to the cascade here, uh, as you can see. So I'm focusing on doing a shot, focus stacking, I'm focusing one image on the water here at about one and a half seconds uh, and then I'm at f10 ISO 50 and then I'm doing one for the mid ground up the back sort of terrace and then another shot uh, further up the back there just so I've got it sharp all the way through the whole image and there's lots of little tears in this cascade that I'm gonna work might even do one back here but I'm definitely just gonna do take the shot um, and then I'm gonna move up one more tear I took a shot there last time, I really loved it. Uh, it was real, probably one of my favorite cascade slash, they're not really waterfalls, they're cascading down rocks. I guess a waterfall was more over the rock. <laughs> if you wanna get technical. So yeah, I'm really like it. I, I can't say enough, I really love the rainforest, especially after some rain, hence rainforest. <laughs> but yeah, I'll uh, chuck this shot up it's my first shot, so uh, probably not my best. You know, you always get the first one out of, out of the way. <laughs> and there was another shot I took on my previously as well over there. It's this awesome dead old log. I just checked it out. There's no water running that side of the, the creek, Twin Falls. Um, but I'm going to go over and give it a shot anyway, give it a crack. So yeah, I'll chuck this image up and um, I'll move up the next tier here and we'll uh, go from there. So I've just come up that bottom tier, I've come up on the next one. Uh, yeah, this is what I'm looking at. My composition will be probably in the middle here. Like I said, I've taken the shot before and I really liked it uh, with my DSLR. So I've come to reshoot it again. I'll probably sit up here. You've got a leading line of this creek up, up, and then up the back there, you've got those two crisscross trees there. Um, and I'll really emphasize that with some light in the background there. And then post, I'll probably darken the edges here. Nice vignette and just have this, uh, yeah, like I'm saying the leading line up through the cascade into the back there. So oh, I'm just making sure I've got no leeches on me. <laughs> it's a problem in here after rain. Um, yeah, so I'll set my camera up 
and I'll go through uh, my settings, probably fairly basic, and I'll take the shot. So I've just got my camera at the base of these, well not the base, the next tear down of this cool little uh, cascade back here. Um, I did, I've taken two different sort of compositions. I've gone my full 14 mil on my 14 to 30 lens. So I've got a, a, a tear as a, as my foreground focus stack too, it was quite close. And then I've gone right up my 30 mil, the other end of my uh, lens, which I think works better overall. Uh, and I'm sort of more focused on the, the corner as that leads you through the bottom, bottom left hand of the frame, up through the middle, real interesting. And then those crisscross trees in the background there, and I've underexposed it slightly because that's the feel I'm going for in here. It is, although it doesn't look it on the camera, it is quite dark in here. There's uh, very cloudy, some rain clouds coming and going. So despite the uh, what you can see on the vlogging camera here, I've, I've, I've uh, exposed that a bit brighter on there. But in here, it uh, feels very dark and very wet. And I want to portray that in this photo. So... Uh, the image, the, well, sorry. I'm at ISO 50 for the 30 mil, F10, and uh, two seconds, I'll play around with that. Um, just wanna see how that looks with the water flowing. Yeah, two second looks good. All right, so this is my composition straight through the camera at 30 mil. As I was saying, this leading line coming up, the middle terrace drawing you in, the back terrace, and then those two, whoa, those two crisscross trees back there. So I think that makes a really cool composition. And uh, just the leaves, the dead leaves in the foreground here, so yeah. Um, while we're at it, what I also forgot to mention is I've got a polarizer filter on there. So I've turned it to cut any glare off these rocks, leaves, branches, whatever have you in the foreground here, uh, just to make it a bit more punchy. So yeah, I'll shoot off one more. I'll chuck it up for you, and I'll, I'll move to that um, dead log over there. <coughs> uh, hopefully I get a shot from that. There's no water running under it, like I was saying before. It's a bit unfortunate, but uh, we'll get over there and have a look at it anyway. All right. Well, this is the scene I was telling you about with the cool dead tree over the creek bed. Absolutely no water running in it. Uh, a bit disappointed about that. I was hoping to come back and get a really, really cool shot of that last one. The last one I did had loads of water coming down, but I didn't focus stack very well. And the corner frame, sort of up in the top uh, right hand corner there, wasn't sharp. Um, and it's a really cool tree and it looks awesome when there's water running under it. It's a bit of a shame. I'm going to take the shot anyway. Um, polarize the filter again. It's, there is a little pull below it here. It's quite kind of glary, so I'm using my um, polarizer just to cut that. And uh, I'll show you the composition I'm going for. So this is the composition I'm going for here. Uh, there's the pull. It's a little bit cropped in the uh, recording, but there's the pull in the front ground. Then you got that. You've got that cool tree coming down, sweeping down, going through the frame, whole frame. Like I was saying, it's a real bummer. There's no water cascading down this little little uh, rock here. But um, I'm going to take the shot anyway. Chuck it up for you. I took the shot. I'll chuck it up for you. Yeah, I don't think it'll work. I don't think it'll work without that water there, but I can't tell till I get home. Um, still, it's a gnarly cool tree. So, yeah. 
chuck that one up for you and let me know in the comments if it worked or not. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it up there. Hope the last shot worked. Uh, would have been better with more water coming through that creek bed, but never mind. I hope you liked today's adventure. Uh, if you liked the video, it helps out if you uh, smash the like button and subscribe. Uh, until we meet again on the next adventure, have a good day, guys. Peace out, cheers, see ya.